New tonight, reaction is pouring in after felony charges filed against the father of the suspected Highland Park gunman. This as Robert Cremo Jr. gets ready to face a judge tomorrow. CBS 2's Medivel Gonzalez live for us in Highland Park with what's been a mixed response. Medivel. Yeah, that's right, Marie. Prosecutors say Robert Kramer Jr.'s actions were, quote, reckless and helped to aid the events, the deadly events that unfolded right here in Highland Park. His attorney, though, is calling them baseless and unprecedented. All while local advocates say charges or no charges, it's still not enough to bring closure to those who were directly affected. Right now, Robert Cremo Jr., the father of the man accused of killing seven people and injuring dozens during the 4th of July parade in Highland Park, is in custody and facing charges. The Lake County State Attorney's Office on Friday filing seven counts of felony reckless conduct, one for each person killed. Parents and guardians are in the best position to decide whether their teenagers should have a weapon. They are the first line of defense. Prosecutors say Cremo Jr. helped his son, Robert Bobby Cremo III, obtain his FOID card by sponsoring his application. Illinois State Police records show it happened just three months before a 2019 incident where Bobby Cremo threatened to kill his family. In a statement, Cremo Jr.'s attorney, George Gomez, calling these charges absurd and vowing to fight them every step of the way. I think this is pretty typical of... Uh what would happen in a case like this anywhere in the country, frankly. And but CBS 2's legal analyst Irv Miller says the move to charge a parent of an accused gunman is not out of the ordinary. And there's other cases right now in other states dealing with uh, parents uh, not taking appropriate steps. And it's not enough. It's not enough. The newly announced charges not offering much closure to advocates like Kitty Brandner, who leads March 4th, a nonprofit formed in the wake of this mass shooting, one that is pushing for legislation to federally ban assault weapons. The charges today, in my opinion, are the bare minimum of justice that these families deserve. But the real travesty here is that anyone can buy a weapon of war. Cremo Jr., meanwhile, is expected to be in court tomorrow morning for his bond hearing. Reporting live from Highland Park, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Maribel, thank you.